Fin Fang Foom. Fin Fang Foom. Godzilla variant with a giant tail and shorts. I've been working to make shorts for Fin Fang Foom and I wanted to give you the update. Just so you know, this is not the final product. It actually comes very low on him and I forgot a major measurement. This is what I ended up making. This is the, the draft with the measurements I took. But as you can see, I measured, this is actually, um, it should be half of that. And then two inches, nine inches across, which gave me a good start to it. But I forgot to measure from the top of the waistband on the front to the top of the waistband on the back. So that's what I'm going to work on now. And I also will have to avoid these spines as I go, so I think I'm probably going to have to go this high. How am I going to put the pants on? As you might imagine, it will be a little tricky, and I will show you how the tidy whities fit right now. Okay, so you can see how it looks. And close, right? So I'm going to measure from here to here now, and then that'll be the next version. Okay. Second version. So I forgot in the first version to measure the front to the back of the crotch, and then also from the um, top of the belly to the crotch, right? And so what we ended up, what ended up having uh, was that um, everything was really low. So I measured that and that's about 12 inches. So this is about nine inches and this is about a little more than three. And so I'm going, it, it looks odd, right? But I'm going to cut it and then um, I'll baste it in the same way and then we will test it to see and then I'll probably end up unbasting it and trimming it, right? And then trying again. The first thing to do is to sew the leg parts together like this. So just like this. All right, well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Hang on. So my rough cut didn't work, so I'm just going to adjust that here. Uh, okay. Basting, I set the stitch to the highest width, which is five. And here we go. Hopefully it's not going to give me any trouble. Because usually for this sort of fabric, you might have a, um, a Teflon foot, but I don't know if I have one. I'm not going to backstitch it because we wanted to be able to come out when we try to actually make a pattern out of it. Okay, then we do the other side and I'm going to stitch here and then we'll put it all together. You stitch the front to the back. You turn one of the sides inside out, which I will do here. Oh, I know. I've got one of these things on the back here. Turn this part inside out, right, like this, okay, then we fit one inside the other, inside the other. Okay.
and then you stitch the front to the back like that okay so let me get started here and then I'll show you what I'm doing oh you know what I have a tripod <laughs> hang on so this is our guy and I need to put the pants on Okay. There we go. Now that is kind of <laughs> not very great looking, but it has enough room for everything to happen. And this is the part that's difficult. So let's see, how shall we do this? Interesting. First of all, we don't need all of it. We can trim down this back part, as you can see. Let's change the view a little. So it has to be big enough. Here's the tail. It has to be big enough. But not too big. And actually, so let's see. First of all, I probably only need this much, but I had to make sure I could get over the spines. Now I'm going to see how much stretch I can do. So look, I can do a pretty good amount of stretch. So I know that I can... Um, okay, first of all, let's cut this down just a little bit more. And that's still pretty too, pretty tall, right? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave it. Um, and then we can adjust it later on the purple one. But So we need to take off about two inches right here. And then try again. Right, we're taking off about two inches, so that puts us in right there. So I'm just going to do a cut right there. Okay, let's see what we got now. Probably use a slightly nicer curve. Slightly. Okay, now let's stitch it. now we've adjusted it looks more like pants now not fur but I had to make sure that we could get over the spines right and we have left lots to do left just so you know okay so this will get us over the spines we think oh boy so we have this stretch that we need to do over the legs but we're making it I don't think these pants are coming off once they go on Now that 
looks a little bit better. I think it's the right size because if it was any smaller, it wouldn't go over the legs. Right? At the front, it's sort of looking a little baggy, but you know, we can trim this, right? Okay, now let's talk about these spines. <clears throat> the thing that's holding them all together is this stitch line. So I don't think we want to cut into the stitch line, but we just want to make places that the spines can be. And this would all happen after, but we want to test it out. So let's see, there's a spine here. So let's cut a slit here that it can go over. Typically, you do not see the back of Fin Fan Foom, for Fin Fang Foom. The reason you don't see the back of him is that, well, hello, if you saw the back of him, somebody would have to solve all these problems that we're solving here. What does it look like? How do those pants fit? So I'm just cutting three slots, but then we can stretch the things over. T-shirt fabric t generally does not, um, does not, uh, rip as easily or fray. So it's kind of a good fabric to be doing this with because it's a, um, I think it's because it's a knit, right? Um, there's a term for it. I will have to look. There we go. Okay, how's this look? Um, gotta get over that. You're only gonna put these pants on once. So there are the fins coming out. I think that's almost good enough. I'm gonna have to check with the boss. Okay, <laughs> so, okay. Well, right, so see, this is what they'd have to draw. and They don't know how to draw it because it's rather odd. Even this, this needs to go way over all of these things. And this one actually is all the way down here. So this here, and then this one here. Now, if this were really Godzilla, <laughs> can you imagine fitting these on the dyno? Oh, hello. And then we're getting down here to the posterior. Oh, there's another fin right here. Sorry, fin. Okay, you know, it's not beautiful in its own way, I suppose it could be called beautiful, but <clears throat> okay, but really, if you were Fin Fang Foom, wouldn't you cover your things? What I think it really needs is some little fabric things that each of these can go into. 
but I'll be honest, I don't think I have time before my Saturday deadline. So this could be version number one. That other one, we'll have to do another time. I don't know. Pretty close. This is what I can do, given the, given the, given the something. I'm not really sure what. It does not look very beautiful. But it looks like pants. All right. Oh, now I'm going to trim the bottom because we have extra. But honestly, that could happen later too. But let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to take about an inch off. And I'm not going to take the pants off before I show it again because that would be insane. Now I think we're just gonna take, wow, gonna take two inches off, an inch and a half or something like that. We could make a whole suite of clothing for this guy. we go. Look at this. <laughs> I think it passes. I think we might even cut it shorter, but maybe only on the other side. <laughs> Hilarious. I think that was what we're going for. Okay. Also, there is that thing about the tail. So we would just cut it out. And I think <clears throat> just cut it and extend, um, stretch it over the joint where the tail attaches. Let's see if we can do that. 